A big break in a murder case four months on the run. A 17 year old is now jailed on May 16th when officers responded to a shooting in the 2100 block of Alston Street on the city's northwest side. There they found Ethan Soto lying in the street shot multiple times. But now the suspected shooter identified by police as 17 year old Victor Rivas is behind bars. He was arrested last week and charged with murder. Now let's bring in Ken Smythe reporter Vanessa Cro she joins us live from SAPD headquarters. That's right, and Vanessa, detectives say social media actually played an important part in this case. Well, that's right, Henry and Audrey. Investigators uh, told us that in many times people think that when they delete a message on a social media app that it's gone forever. But in this case, it's what this case it's what cracked the case. Those deleted Instagram messages leading investigators straight to Victor Rivas, who's now facing murder charges. Our cameras caught the sound of gunshots just before 3 p.m. on May 16th. That's when officers found 15-year-old Ethan Soto lying in a pool of blood near his northwest side home. Soto later died at the hospital. The shooting now turning into a murder investigation. According to an arrest affidavit, detectives recovered Instagram messages and were able to piece together how Victor Rivas planned the ambush killing of Soto. They say Rivas got a teenage girl to contact Soto on the social media app, luring Soto into selling her drugs. And when the alleged deal was about to go down, it was Rivas who was waiting for Soto. Police later figured out that the brazen murder was in retaliation after Soto had stolen drugs from Rivas the day before. Investigators say they got a warrant for Rivas' Instagram account and found messages from Rivas to another user saying he was going to catch the person who robbed him. They also discovered threatening messages Rivas sent to Soto. An hour after the shooting, Rivas said in a message to another user that he had to ditch the car. Police say they later found out Rivas had reported his car stolen two hours after the ambush. Through other messages on Rivas' Instagram, investigators discovered that he had bought a semi-automatic gun from another Instagram user and then posted photos of the gun on his page. Detectives believe that Rivas got the girl to lure Soto away from his house, waited for him to leave, and shot the 15-year-old. It's unclear what charges the other teen will face, though police are calling her an accomplice. Uh, Victor Rivas is still behind bars tonight. His bond set at $200,000. Online court records show that Rivas was arrested on unrelated charges, posted bond, and was released from jail. This happening just a few days before he was arrested and charged in the murder of Ethan Soto. Reporting live downtown at police headquarters, Vanessa Croy, Ken's 5. All right, thanks so much, Vanessa, for that report.